Saturday, everybody. Blues Red Wings just finished at LCA. Um, noon puck drop. Game was on ABC and ESPN, ESPN Plus, and dominating performance by the Red Wings. Opening things up 33 seconds into the game, Patrick Kane. A um, couple minutes later, Michael Rasmussen made it 2 nothing. Then Robbie Fabry and then Alex Dabrinkin in the final minute of the first period. 4 nothing wins after one. Uh, the Blues cut it down to 4-1. Uh, Zachary Bolduc in his first goal, also on his birthday. Uh, JT Comfer made it 5-1. And then Dabrinkin got his second of the game with a minute and a half left in the second. That was it. 6-1. Red Wings, the final, just... A dominating performance in a team that really looked like they were going on all cylinders and playing well. Um, there was a shift in the first period when they were 3 nothing up that they were uh, at least in the Blues uh, zone for a minute plus. Just great puck movement. And it was a 5-on-5 five -five situation and it looked like a power play. This team is really playing well and they're believing in each other right now. That's four wins in a row. Uh, for Derek Luan and the lads. Um, so they'll hang on to the first wild card spot uh, at day's end. Uh, currently four points behind the Leafs. The next game for the Wings, trip to Chicago, the Blackhawks, tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, it is Chris Chelios' number seven that he wore for the Blackhawks is getting raised to the rafters. It's Patrick Kane's first game back in Chicago since getting dealt by the Blackhawks. It's... um. A game that there's still a lot to play for. Um, nothing's going to be easy about it. So if they keep this going the way that they're going, it's a very good chance they can make it five on the row. But first, let's take it and enjoy this 6-1 win uh, for the wins, four wins in a row. Have a great Saturday, everybody. Look for another one of these after Red Wings Blackhawks tomorrow night. And let's go wins. Mm -hmm.